Hey guys, Creative Venus here and look at this beautiful business infographic that today we will learn and it's very minimal, highly corporate. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and let's begin with the tutorial. So th this is how it looks and you can see we have used the corporate colors here. It's very simple and it's a four steps business infographic. So to start with, we have to insert this rounded rectangle here and change the height and width uh, you have to keep the width according to the number of items you want on the slide so this is a four steps infographic so we have kept it like 6.5 centimeters and now duplicate this rounded rectangle and change its color so that you can select it easily and we have to cut this rounded rectangle in three different parts. Let's start with the first part. Insert this rectangle and subtract it. Or let's go with the intersect. So we will get this shape. Now duplicate this shape. So the first shape is ready. Now again. Uh, subtract it with the blue rounded rectangle now we have got these two shapes here now align both these to the top go to insert insert a rectangle once again and we have to subtract it from both these shapes so select the orange shape first then the rectangle and press subtract and again insert the rectangle here and now we have to subtract the blue shape select the blue shape and then select the rectangle go to merge shapes and subtract and we have these final shapes here and now we have to take care of this black shape and we will fill six stops gradient in and we will use white color so we have created these two gradient stops and we have filled white color and in the second gradient stop we have filled gray color and the third we have filled white color on the fourth again white color then we have fifth gray color and sixth white color so you will have this shape with the white gradient fill and you can see some you know pattern on the shape and insert and now let's fill the shadow effect and increase the transparency to 80 and blurness around 20 points 17 to 20 points now select both these shapes yeah we have to bring these to front and place it here now we have to remove the extra portion from this white shape as well subtract and now we will fill the colors from our color palette which we have placed at the top fill the color from the color palette and then we will use the gradient fill and we will use two gradient stops so we have to remove these gradient stops now insert the color from the color palette and again on the second stop we will move this slider down and you can see the color difference here and use format painter and fill the same color on the second shape as well and you can see the depth effect here now send both these shapes to back and apply shadow effect increase the blurness and transparency to 80 percent and change the black color if you want now again insert around a rectangle match with the overall height and width of 
the infographic that we have created remove the outline so the purpose of this rounded rectangle is to create a light reflection effect now insert the triangle and we will we will curve we will create a curve so select the triangle edit shapes edit point and move these white dots and you can change the curve and then subtract it from the shape and you will end up like this and here we have to fill the gradient color click on gradient and we only need two gradient stops so remove the additional gradients and fill white color on both the gradient stops on the second gradient stop increase the transparency to 100% and select the direction top to bottom and also increase the transparency to around 50 to 60 percent on the first gradient stop and move the second gradient stop towards the first gradient stop so you will have this output and the and our infographic base is ready now we have to add some text and then it will look much better go to insert and insert text box and here you can design as per the as per the content you have for the slide so you can be more creative here so we have we will have four such blocks of content so this is a four steps gradient so that's why we have used this number and then insert this icon and let's pick some random icon here I think we should go for sports insert reduce height and width and then place it here so it's not necessary that you have to place it here you can place it on the right as well at the bottom as well it's totally up to you now let's insert the title of this block so this is just random text and again our favorite font which is monster at it's a free google font you can go to google fonts and download this font and not only this there you will find plenty of fonts now again insert the text box this is the subheading so here you can write the second level heading center line change the color to like mid gray between black to white and here comes the description so the description is very lengthy here we have to remove some words because no one has time to read such long descriptions nowadays adjust the spacing Now let's create a small line here just for the aesthetic purpose remove the outline and fill very light gray color move the outline and you can see it looks beautiful and now we need a call to action at the bottom so for that you have to insert this rounded rectangle and place it at the center remove the outline and again fill uh, light color I don't think white will work here let's go with the gray yeah let's try one tone darker so we have picked it from the background and I think it is going with the overall look and feel of this design insert the text and you can link this with any web page or any slide 
in this presentation and in the slideshow mode when you will click on it it will you will land on that linked page or the slide so this is the first block that we have created and similarly you can use the color palette at the top to create the other content blocks so we have left it for you to create so this is the final output i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye and do not forget to subscribe and download it from the g drive link provided in the video description